Suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I think by the end of the shift should be sufficient. <laughs> Ten hours ought to cover it. Anyway, this is from uh, Lieutenant Tamez, dated November the 6th. It says, uh, Delta 110 Shelton was assisting the ATF and the FBI units at 4819 Marie when he was bitten on the left hand and scratched on the face by a cat. Humane was called to dart the cat. And to make a long story short, after several different delays, the cat was finally darted. He escaped our containment, and we lost him. We went back later and found him passed out under a house, two houses down, to the great relief of Officer Shelton, as he had already been told by the doctor that he was to begin taking shots in three days if the cat was not found. What's that? John can uh, relate to that, sort of, can't you, John? <laughs> <laughs> I'll volunteer that one. Anyway, I guess uh, let's go to work. 25, charge 325, Adam. We deal more with good people than we, we deal with bad people, believe it or not. Just because we make a disturbance call doesn't mean that they're bad. You know, everybody everybody has a bad day, and everybody might get angry at their wife or their brother and sister or mom. So that, that doesn't mean that they're bad. But we do get respect. Usually the way I treat people is the way uh, they treat me. If, if they treat they do treat me with respect, I give them respect back. But once they start giving any kind of attitude, then I tend to try to take control of the situation and not let things get out of, get out of hand. Right now we're going to a shooting call. Uh, the dispatchers advise us that uh, the suspect is still on the scene and he probably still has a gun. So we're going to go and check it out, see if we can catch him. If you hear the victim in the background, uh, you're still conscious. Uh, don't have anything else at this time. Charlie, 335, we're near. Okay, 225, we've got Daniel is back on the phone again. The suspect is on the phone right now. We're 221, right? That's my backup. City police! Help me, How many people are in the house, man? Help me. You're right there, right there. No, no, I see him. Help me. How many people Help in the house? Me. Watch out. Let me see your hands, man. Help me. All right. Help me. Ten four. Please help. Okay, we got the medics on the way in. Please secure suspects in custody. You can't help me. Yeah. All right, just stay still. All right. You even what happened, man? I'm my uncle. I'm huh? I'm scared my uncle. You scared your uncle? Where's the gun at? Right here. Right there. Oh okay. God, I'm scared. Go ahead, LT. I'm gonna die. 
Hang on, you're not going nowhere. Just sit still, all right? Please help me. <laughs> help is coming, just hang on. Please help me yourself. Please. Okay, I'm going Watch out for it, we got evidence right there. Please help me! Hey! Oh, hey, hey, relax, man. We're fixing to run you to the hospital. Where's the gun? I'm trying to bed. I mean, it's Security seat. Do you have it? Security seat. I'm going to take that from you. I'm going to take that from you. No. Give me a trauma dressing. Sorry, 335. Please start ID. Uh, hey, what's your name, man? That's good. Renee. Renee. Hold still, Renee. Sorry, 335. See how the chair's broken? Yeah. You got, you got a leg over here. You got food all over the place. You got another chair over here. So there was some type of struggle. Probably some kind of fire going on. What did the neighbor across the street say? The neighbor said that he just he just heard a bunch of stomping, like they were stomping on the floor. Let's go. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Get a good feeling. Put your hands on your stomach. Hey, They're coming out. Coming out. Don't move. We're on the senior fix of 10 for the 21-year-old shooting victim. Push it on the ground. Just above the left. Push it on the Apparently, the victim came in. Broke, his, broke the suspect's door down. The suspect was somewhere in the room. The suspect shot the victim one time through the chest. Here's a bullet hole right here. He was standing approximately right here. Bullet hole in the door. Ended up all the way in the wall. The victim staggered over here and fell on the floor. That's what he had told me. He said uh, the victim busted the door in his room, came in, and uh, said he didn't have his glasses on and couldn't see who it was, and uh, pulled out a gun and shot him once. The doctor says that the, the round went in right under the heart, about an inch under the heart, but it, it got the left lung. So he got around into the chest, through the left lung, out his back, and it went into the wall that he was standing in front of. And it finally lodged there. Uh, with a round like a 357 Magnum, you know, he's lucky. He needs to be going to church if he hasn't been going already. <laughs> because somebody's watching out for him, I'll tell you that right now. I've been with the Sheriff's Department in Harris County for about six years. I get started in law enforcement back in the military. It's always something I've loved to do and dreamt of doing when I was younger. And every day you come to work, you pretty much count on seeing something new or something really strange that you never thought you'd run across in everyday life. It kind of adds an element of excitement. Got a report of a male in an apartment that's been stabbed in the head several times. Turn around to check by with another unit in an ambulance unit just going to that location. Sir, it's going to be Princeton Drive, 460 in Mary. Advise the reporting found a part of a dashboard cover. Thinks it might be stolen. That's what that says. Forty-three seventy-four. 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 Okay, what, what's the suspect description? Hispanic, long hair, uh, hat, plaid shirt. Yeah, easy, 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 easy. What, what, what calls this? I mean, y'all just, I have words. We just don't get along, bro. So you know him? Yeah. What's your name? Let me do on that. I can't do that, man. Where does he live at? I can't do that. Man. Why can't you do that? You don't want to follow him? I can't follow him. So he cut you up and you don't want him, you don't want us to talk to him? I can't snitch, This guy, this guy is going to throw me in jail. Hey, hey, no, we're hey, not going to throw you in jail, boy. This guy tried to kill you, man. He stabbed you in your head. He don't care nothing I about you. I can't give him up. Yeah. I can't do that. Hey, do the no, we're not gonna throw you in jail, but we ain't really a whole lot we can do with it if you're not gonna tell us no, where I'm we can find it. I'll, I'll give him a big old kiss on his birthday. I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Oh, Have y'all gotten any idea off of him? Uh, Steve, you got any idea? Well, I got some from the old days. I, I don't have any. All right. Hey, just give me some with it. No, have okay. 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 That's an old one from yeah. 85. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a driver last one. Now, this is they live a very exciting life. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this happen at, Stephen? On Market Street. It happened up there at the store? With the oh, one right no, there? in the parking lot across the store. May the 31st, it happened once. Okay, then, I mean uh, today, where did it happen? Oh, today it happened at the same place, the parking lot. The store right there at Pemberton in the market? Steal from you, okay? Yes, sir. And you walked all the way over here, or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had to, I was believing there, and I had to go find a phone. Were you and this other guy, what'd y'all get into it about? Well, we just don't get along. It you just really don't get along? Okay. Is he hurt also? No. Was he the only one that had a knife? No, he there didn't... was three of them, man. Oh, me. So the three of them jumped on you at one time? I'm the one that carried home the wound. They didn't okay, how did you... The <laughs> okay. And they're still up there now? Hey, Steve. I'm going to go ahead and go check around over there and see if I can find something over there that we can do something with. Hey, Steve, you need to go with them. Let them stitch that stuff up, man, because you believe pretty okay, good, all right? Okay, boss. And okay. We're going to go over there and look around for them guys and see if we can find them, all right? Okay, all right, Thanks. so we can get the information and stuff from you at the hospital when we need it, right? Okay, yes, sir. All right, so you'll, you'll take care of business on that? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go over there and check see if we can find him. He says that he'll do the complaining information and stuff if we find him on our own. So we might get lucky and find him. we got two right here. we got two what? we got two guys right here just a couple blocks over, right? Yeah, huh? right. I don't know There's if they're on this deal. Who is it? We might have to get him the idea if he's going to idea. Who's over there with him? I don't know. I'll stop by just for a minute. Oh, man. Hey, Steve. Thirty-nine and forty-three to thirty. You're both clear. No. Okay. How about this guy right here? No. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. We'll take him on back over to the ambulance. Uh, I'll, I'll find them later, guys. No, it's not this. You, guys. You're gonna tell us the truth. If that ain't them, it ain't them, right? That's not, it ain't them. Okay. Lieutenant, this is what we got. We got white male reporting, stabbed several times in the head, and he's bleeding all over the place. He won't give up who stabbed him. He stated it happened up at the store. We picked up a couple of suspects up there, brought them over. Report he looked at them, stated neither one of them stabbed him. States he's not willing to give us any information, but if we catch him on our own, then he's willing to press charges. So basically he's not being cooperative. Okay, he won't give us any information, no description, but wants us to catch him. Correct. And then he'll prosecute. Correct. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, go ahead and write it up. We'll refer it down to the detectives. Make sure you put in there the guy's not going to cooperate so they don't get too worked up about it. Okay. Right. Okay. Sir. This guy's friends will do that to him. I'd really hate to see his enemies. He's always concerned about how stressful our job is. I think it's just as stressful for your family, your wife, and your kids. I mean, they know what you're doing out here. They know the chances that you take. You have to know that they're behind you. You may not get to see them a lot, but you just have to know that you have their support and that they're going to be there if you ever need them. So they're a, an integral part of us being able to accomplish our mission out here. We couldn't do it without them. Uh, just be advised, the subject is around the water tower. You might be on top of it. We're headed over here to one of the water towers in the city. Evidently, we have a guy who climbed up to the top, threatening to jump off. Um, it's supposed to be up there. It's probably about 200 feet off the ground. Highly intoxicated. Told some friends that he was going to kill himself, going to jump off the water tower here. Going to see if we can talk him down without him getting hurt. See him up there. Stop right here. Don't want to get too close. Hey, hold up, dude. You let me come up, I won't do anything. Well, I'm gonna have to. 
You let me come up there? No. I'm trying to be honest with you, okay? Hey, go back on the other side, Rob. 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 What? Go back on the other side. We're going to back off, okay? Go back on the other side. We're backing off. You coming down? Rob, you coming down? Yes. Okay. Rob, did call a supervisor if we haven't already. Rob, go back on the other side of the rail, man. I'm not coming up. I'm not coming up, but I need you to go back on the other side of the rail. Hey, Rob. Rob. My name's Kenny, okay? Do you, do you think like you're in trouble right now? Is that, is that why you want to stay up there? See? Wants his mom and dad to pay attention to him. And can y'all turn y'all's uh, ambulance off? It's, it's hard to hear. As far as we know right now, it's just because he's, well, he's not loved by his, his dad. He would had no relationship with his dad. His mom doesn't care about him. He thinks he has no one that loves him. Okay. Um, that's pretty much Robbie? pretty much all we've gotten out of him up to now. Robbie. You, ch you tell him your name is Officer Howard? Come on, Dad. Ed. Ed, okay. Yeah. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, that's good. Hey, look at me. Look who I got standing down here with me. You see him? You know who this is? Robbie. Come on down, son. Robbie, get over to the ladder. Get over to the ladder, Robbie. Robbie, get over to the ladder, son. Kenny, get over to the ladder. Rob, get over to the ladder. Come on now. That was too close. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. I ain't got the guts enough to kill myself. I can't hear you, Rob. Can you speak up a little bit? Said he ain't got guts enough to kill himself. Your uncle's down here, and he really cares about you. Oh, Nancy, I need Nancy. Son, I love you. Come on down. There ain't nobody gonna jump on you. Oh, Nancy, don't jump down. That's clear. Send her on up. Yeah. Kenny, sister's here. I love you, yeah. son. Tell Nancy's here. Hey, Rob, let me tell you something. Nancy's here now. Okay? You want to talk to her? Show me, Nancy. Okay. Don't slip up here, please. You're speaking loud. Robbie, come down. I want to talk to you. Come down here. It's okay. Hey, Just come down. You. What? I don't want to know that you. Robbie, it's me. Give me your full name. Prove it to me. Tell me something me and Nancy only know. We walked underneath the toll bridge until we got to the water. I can't hear you. She said you walked underneath the tollway until you got to the water. Okay, that's Nancy. Okay, come on down. Okay, now come on down like you promised. Nancy, they're going to hurt me. Bobby, they're not going to hurt you. No, they're not. Hey, Rob, this is Kenny. I can promise you, man, we're not going to hurt you. All we want to do is get you some help. That's all we want to do. Okay. Give me a Rob, like I said, I, can, I can't let her do that. Look, Rob. Rob. I'm going to have her stand right... Nancy, meet me at the bottom of the ladder. She'll meet you at the... Listen, Rob. I'm going to have her stand right here under this light. It's like 10 feet from the bottom of the, of the ladder. When you get down... Down closer to the bottom, I'll have her come over there and meet you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Run over, not another cop. Go over there. It's the last deal I'm going to make. I won't go down. Go ahead, Rob. What? 
I won't come down. Six more steps. Nancy's not at the bottom. I'm going back up. Plain and simple. How about this, okay? Listen, if you come down, Nancy's going to be right over here on the side. Nobody's going to hurt you, Bobby. Everybody just wants to help you. Nobody wants to hurt you. You need some help, Rob? Okay, good. All right. Relax. You did good. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. Relax. You did the right thing. We're gonna get you some help, okay? We're gonna get you some help, buddy. Rob. Rob, you're gonna be all right, man. Well, right now he's uh, been taken into custody and he's going to be taken down mental health warrant. Uh, going to try to get him some counseling for his psychiatric problems. Hopefully, to help him reach, get some closure in his life. He he's suffering a lot of pain over a relationship between his mother and father that he doesn't feel that he he had when he was growing up and. Hopefully we can just get him some help that will put him at ease for that. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get a 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 